Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, here with my second video, uh, which is uh, the summary of uh, the year's first readathon I participated in, which is the final book support groups readathon. It was uh, from the 7th to the 8th and uh, the challenges were to read uh, a manga or short story and for this challenge I have uh, finished uh, the two volumes of uh, Koei Nanka Shitakurai by Tsukimura Kei it is an uh, LGBT manga which features uh, Yuto, who is uh, a middle schooler, and um, his mom is uh, remarrying a guy who was admitted to the hospital. His mom is a nurse, and they fell in love and remarried, and the guy has a son who is a screenwriter for television shows who's uh, called Ryosei and uh, you, they start living together Yuto discovers that uh, Ryo is gay because Ryo brings uh, one day his boyfriend around and uh, Yuto comes from earlier from school than expected and uh, sees them together and uh, slowly you two develops uh, feelings for Rio but Rio just tells him that uh, he sees him as a little brother and nothing more and uh, when uh, you two goes to high school he request to be in a, admitted to a dormitory of the high school he chooses to go to and uh, because uh, his uh, roommate brings around uh, his lover a lot Yuto just decides to go and live with, together with Ryosei and uh, the first volume is just uh, ends with uh, Yuto realizing that he has feelings for his stepbrother and uh, obviously the heartbreak of it that his brother is never going to love him anything in any other way than a brother would and the second volume is them becoming um, mutual their feelings become mutual and they become lovers and uh, I think the story was very well done the art was very pretty there was skippable only one chapter and very few pages of smut which I like, I love that shit when they skip it and focus on the plot and the characters more than the, the erotic aspect of it these were two books I read as uh, the manga challenge and the other challenge was to finish a final book which is uh, to say that uh, to finish a book you didn't get to finish last year and uh, last year I started this book The Secrets of uh, Laura Oak by Louis Ruby and um, I was in the middle of it when I picked it back up 
it is a book which is um, taught from dual perspective. Um, it is uh, told by a little girl, this little girl, who is going with his uh, with her family to a plantation house for a little bit because uh, her parents work over there and it's just a lodging situation and uh, the slave you can see her here she is the ghost of the plantation house worker who was a house slave um, she got the name Daphne from the judge's wife who owned the plantation but uh, she had a proper African name. From, she was from the Congo region and her name was Te. This is what her name was. And because the judge's wife was just not having it and uh, didn't want to pronounce it, um, she just christened her Daphne. And uh, the story goes uh, to Unravel Mystery, which is um, that uh, everyone believes that Daphne uh, poisoned the judge's wife and her two daughters because uh, the judge was abusing her and uh, they punished her with the death penalty for that. And uh, the perspective goes uh, with the uh, little girl who is staying over and uh, hearing Daphne's ghost, whose name is Lila. Lila, yes, her name is Lila, and uh, she set on to uncover the mystery about it and uh, the story very slowly unfolds it was uh, it was a very hard read i mean it's not a book that will stay with me it was just uh, really dragging on and uh, dialogues were really unnecessary and in few places i absolutely didn't care for lila's storyline i only stayed for daphne and uh, in hindsight the entire book which is this long could have been i'm gonna show you this page and, and second, I'm gonna show you how this page, this two, this two, and this. This long how the entire book could have been. That's the story, the original story, because it's um, uh, actually a true story from uh, the Myrtle Plantation, from St. Francisville, Louisiana, and uh, the story is true. It's all the same, just with different names, and the ghost aspect, it's really a ghost house. And you can tour it, and there's a evening tour, and you can stay over. But uh, the little girl 
and her family is just the made up portion of the book by the author and because of that I'm gonna give it three star and nothing more nothing less and I don't think I'm gonna pick up anything else by this author quite frankly it was boring so with that I have read three things and it was a really successful readathon and this week I'm gonna follow up with uh, another readathon which is the New Year New Books readathon and uh, 23 for the for this year's mark because it's a yearly thing it's from the 9th to the 15th and uh, the reading prompts are new to you author book uh, you didn't get to last year and the newest book on my shelf so that's what i'm gonna be reading this week and i'm gonna post the reading blog of it uh, next week and uh, I'm gonna include some clips of my day and that is it for this video and thank you for watching and I hope to see you 